Integrated Math 3 practice test for 10 ready TCAP, whatever Tennessee wants to call it. Question number six, we are in a no calculator section, subpart one. The question says the rectangular prism below is cut in half by the dotted line shown, after which the two halves are separated. Which of the rect uh, rectangles represents the cross section cut of each half of the prism? Now, to me, it looks like they're just cutting a stick of butter in, in two equal parts in half. So the sticks of butter are generally squares. I get that whole thing. What we really want to know is what's the perspective coming in from right here? Because it has to be, uh, your perspective of it has to be parallel uh, to the cut line. So my perspective is here. I don't want to look at it straight on because that would be perpendicular to this cross section. So this. Just think of it like it's um, one of those magicians cutting someone in half, I guess. So really, I just need to know something about this shape here. That's it. And based on what I've been told, this bottom part is 8, and this part going up, as you can see over here, is 12. So what I'm left with is this. And you may say, well, what about this 24? I remember there being a 24 in there. Why is that not part of the cross-section? Because of the nature of where the cross-section is. Now, if they had done a big, like a guillotine chop right through the middle this way and down, then yeah, you would use the front. So pay very close attention when you find your cross-section and how they define it. It's generally going to be uh, a plane that's parallel to the actual cross-section itself, or I mean really, you could just, if you're cutting butter in half, you could just hold this part in your hand and separate and look at it from the front, and you'd end up with uh, letter A, 12 inches by 8 inches. 12 by 12 doesn't really make much sense because there's no situation where that's really the case. Um, 6 by 8, I, I, I guess that they're dividing the 12 by 2 or something, and then 8 by 24. That is a potential cross-section. It's just not the cross-section based on what they show in the picture. So again, matter, perspective, uh, just make sure that you're looking at it from the right angle. You should be good to go.